Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Mega Asylum Challenge. Um, I want to say this is part, like, 19? No, it's in his 20s. I don't know. I'm not even, I'm not even going to try. Usually I'll have sort of an idea. No, I'm not even going to try. So, right now, our lovely lady is actually currently sleeping, but she is working, um, in the athletic career, as you know, and she is level 7. The goal is to get her to level 9, so we've got to work on her teammates and all of that stuff. Um, and ideally we can boost her up pretty soon. Ideally. That's that's the goal, ultimately. I should let her go in and like watch one day worth of TV. Just go in and actually have fun. That'd be nice. What's wrong, Bart? Bart went ahead and, or it was Celeste who made that. Bart's just hanging out in the kitchen. Sunny, what are you doing? Sunny's the worst. Oh, Shauna Burnett failed to sabotage the what's it's. Um. All right, come on down here and grab a plate when you wake up. Sunny, clean up after yourself. Ugh, she's just the worst. Sunny's the worst. And why are you eating that, dude? Is that that's Irving? I always forget the names of like most of the other Sims. I know Sunny because she's horrible and I despise her. And otherwise, um, I know Monica and a few others that were in the original challenge. And beyond that, it's like it's anybody's guess. Well, actually, there's Jontron. Melanie, it's Joseph, or that's Roosevelt. His name is Joseph in another thing, or my, in my personal game when I used to have him. It's Robbie. There's Stanley. Not to be confused with Stan Lee. Alright, clean that up, please. You're the best. You can't go to the Spring Festival, though. I'm sorry. Put away the leftovers, please. Does she work? In nine hours. So what I want you to do is serve some waffles and then go ahead and where are your teammates um go ahead and chat with her and send her a friendly text and then we're just gonna have to work on our game stuff and hopefully they don't do such a bad job because god her team has been just sucking sucking That big old house. Nobody's living in there. This house is too expensive for anybody in the town to uh, live in. See, originally, before I started the sequel, um, the plan was that I was going to start up a mega asylum and they were going to live in the house which I'm currently using for the sequel. And um, this was a long time ago in the planning, and I sort of put this all put this all together as a test and tried to move them into this house and there was like a positioning glitch with everybody living there. So I was like, well, you know, I guess I'm going to use my, uh, the house that I also have in my runaway team, but I, uh, I was like, I guess I'm going to use the one I had in the original asylum challenge because I needed something with a lot of space. And, um, you know, there are a lot of houses you can download, but my game is pretty temperamental and doesn't always agree with them. And to be perfectly honest, I, I'm not in love with building. I, I, if I'm building something I enjoy and it comes out well, you know, I'm jazzed, but I'm not in love with building, so. Plus, there are some really super talented people out there that just build the most amazing things. Wow, that's taking forever. She wants to make that self-cleaning. Actually, we can't do that. Thomas Maine is starting to feel a bit ill. <sighs> Thomas Maine. She's having a nice chat with her co-worker. Who is that? Sophia Martingale. Well, Sophia, we're cool, so you better be nice to us. I think she and Roosevelt should hook up. <laughs> no, I want her to get together with, um, with Monica. But I also don't want to continuously force her to, um... To hit on Monica and like ask her to marry her. It just seems inappropriate. What are we listening to here? What's Sunny got to say? 
Actually, where is Monica? <laughs> there she is, talking to Jontron. Why don't you come over here and romantic um, flirt? Go on. Let's see. Let's see how she reacts to this. We don't want to keep pestering you, Monica. We're not going to do the nice girl thing. We're not going to sit around waiting, expecting. Why? Oh, okay. I was like, why is it showing up as that? Um, we don't have a lot of money. Actually, we do. We're doing okay. So give her, give her some romantic flowers. Let's get rid of those. And she's got a pee, but, um, let's give her an amorous hug and then we're going to leave it at that. Like, hey girl, can we snuggle you? Yes, we may. So, I thought I canceled this. Um, looks like we don't have to do that. She should take a shower before, um, shower. Game's a little bit laggy, I apologize. But take a shower so you're not disgusting when you get to work. And Monica peed herself. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Oh, Aaron is starting to feel a little sick. It actually makes me a little sad to have Aaron and John in the same household. I was pretty sad when John Tron left uh, Game Grumps. Why is it ever, we're Look, we're single-handedly making the money for you dummies. And you're booing us? Like, you dare to boo us? We're gonna come on out here. And oh my god, the lag. We're gonna come on out here and we're going to feed the chickens and harvest the eggs. And we're going to ask how many chickens does it take to screw in a light bulb? Because I think that'll raise her fun motive. God, I wish they would play more than that one game. Okay, this isn't. There we go. Okay. There, come on. Come on. I'm thinking of, like, setting them all back to insane. It didn't make a difference. That's the thing. Like, they've got a pool out here. They come and swim in the pool when they're, like, sick and they don't, haven't had food and when they're exhausted. And they still don't drown. How is this a thing? I don't understand it. <laughs> Do we have neighbors in this house? Yes, that's a nice house. That's a sexy looking house right there. Oh, we got a rare exotic egg. Yeah, that's a nice house. I think we should steal it. I'm going to sell that for some moolah. And go ahead and put the eggs in the frigidaire. Yeah, seriously, I can't kill any of these well-adjusted, self-sufficient D-bags. They're just never gonna die. It's not gonna happen. Um, okay, apparently we're just standing outside in the sunlight, so. Um, why don't you go ahead and... It did increase her fun. So come on in here and have some juice. Just have a little sip of juice. So you're nice and... Nice and nice. When you get in there. You can go to work and be in a good mood. Oh, this lag is killing me. Feels though my computer must be downloading updates or doing something. Oh well. It's fine. It's fine. Let's give it a second. Whoop, 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 whoop. I love how she desperately wants to go to like the festivals and stuff. And the festival is literally across the road from where she lives. And she just can't. She's not allowed. 
There is no festival. There is only Haven House. Come on, Judy, you can do this because your carpool's going to be here any minute now. For a second, I was thinking to myself, oh, did I forget to turn autonomy back on? But no, I turned it on because, and I can tell because there are people playing guitar and that super obnoxious uh, computer game that they always play. Ooh. You're all so great. You're so loving. I love Leanne's, uh, uh, yeah. I love Leanne's sort of body suits. Leanne reminds me a lot of Pam Greer. Um, she doesn't exactly look like Pam Greer, but just, uh, just the way I designed her in terms of attitude. Um, she looks, I mean, her eyes remind me a little bit of Pam Greer, but otherwise, but yeah, no, she, just something about that, like, 1970s sex appeal that just really stands out to me, and, there we go, go to work. Well, let's, let's zip ahead a little bit until she gets home. Yeah, see, Charlotte's out there, hanging out, she's not gonna die. She's not. Nope, she's gonna be fine. Um, except we do need to slow this down for just one second. We're going to prepare for the game. And they need to do better at the game. Seriously, they need to do better at the game. Uh, there's irresistible to artistic. Can't go to a party. Everybody's getting sick. But the kitchen brings us all together. Monica's hanging out in there, taking care of plants. We're not having too many disputes over the bathroom right now. That's nice. Whoops. John, trying to get out of the door. Get out of the door. Thank you. <laughs> I love how Richard just walks around in his swimsuit. He knows he looks good. He knows it. What are you all arguing about? And they're all drawn together by the piano. I should have her take the sketch and the painting when she's all done so that other people can use them. Game record. It's got a frowny face. Because we're terrible. We're terrible at our jobs. Joseph is starting to feel ill. Go to France? Nope. Not a thing. When you get home... She left work with 783 simoleons. Yet when you get home, take care of the chickens. She wants to work from home. We can promise that. Um... See, I get home. Oops. No, we can't go on a date. Slow it down. We're going to feed the chickens and harvest the eggs. Make sure we don't have to pay any bills. And then that's going to be it for this episode, I think. Actually, I'll tell her to take this sketch. Um, take this sketch. And we're going to scrap this painting. Let's see if we get another fancy egg to make some money. What do you think, girl? And her hair is so blonde. I've actually had my hair that uh, that blonde before. I really like having blonde hair. When I was little, I had naturally blonde hair, and then as I got older, it darkened. But it does, um, it does turn blonde in the sunlight. Alrighty, and I apologize for the lag. I don't know. I'm pretty sure my computer's up to something. It's doing something. So, that's going to be it for this episode. It is. Thank you very much for watching. Excuse me, I'm like choking. 
Thank you very much for watching, and um, please remember to give this video a rating. And also, I love hearing from you in the comments what you think, um, whether or not you're doing any challenges, and just how you're doing in general. I do. I like hearing from you. Um, and, uh, yeah. As always, I'll see you next time, and you're amazing, and thank you so much. <laughs> Bye!